My name is Olli-Pekka Heinonen and I'm the Director General in the National Agency for Education in Finland. And I'm happy to share with you the recent developments in the Finnish education system and policy. Finland is a small nation. We're a population of about 5.5 million people with two official languages, Finnish and Swedish. We are a nation that in international comparisons seems to be well doing well in especially three areas. We are very good when it comes to equality, whether it's kind of gender equality or other uh, aspects of equality. In international comparisons, Finland ranks high. The other area where we're doing well is the stability of the society, that we have been ranked many times the most stable state in the world. And the third area where we are doing well is education, learning and innovation. And actually it is important to understand that all these three areas are interconnected, that our education system feeds the idea of equality in society and the equality makes it possible for the stability of the society. Education systems are strongly embedded in the value structure of the society. The Finnish um, education system is based on the ideas of creating a a competent society, um, increasing the competitiveness in Finland. But at the same time, it's very important for us to be enhancing a meaningful life of our citizens. And these two aspects can be done together when there is a strong trust in the society. The underlying educational uh, principle in Finland in education is equity. It is very, very important for us that we give everybody equal opportunities to grow to the full potential. That is also seen in the structure of the Finnish education system, where it is very important that there are no dead ends in our system. So no matter what choices you make, you can always make other choices later. The Finnish primary education emphasizes very strongly on collaboration. And we also see that the school has many functions beyond learning. For example, the school meals, the warm school meals play a central role in the school activities. In Finland, all children go to publicly funded schools. We have some private schools, but they are also publicly funded. And that is one way to make sure that all schools could be good schools and there is no kind of comparison between differently owned schools. In international comparisons, the outcome is that the differences between schools in Finland is very small. The closest school is a good school and that's something that we are very proud of and we want to maintain that. In Finland also, surprisingly, the instruction time is quite low, although in PISA and other learning outcome comparisons, we are doing well. Uh, Cost-wise, our cost level on education is moderate, and also the social economic background of parents and families that effect on learning is also moderate. And we value our teachers. T 
teachers themselves say that the parents and the society values their work. And that's for good reason, because teachers in Finland are highly educated and they have the autonomy to kind of be in charge of what is happening in the classrooms and in schools. These are the kind of characteristics of the Finnish uh, education system. But of course, we as all nations are challenged with the idea that how can we educate and train in an uncertain and complex world for a future that we cannot predict. And that kind of leads us to the idea that what are the kind of meta tasks of education? And there are two of them. The first one being the task of transferring the human achievements for the next generation. Everything that we've been able to create so far um, as mankind. And the other one is to give the capabilities to confront the future. What should we teach and train our children so that they are ready for the future and can create their own future. In a world where there weren't too many changes and where the change was linear, when you took care of the first meta task, you kind of automatically also give, gave the kind of uh, capabilities for confronting the future. But now, when we are living in a complex world, when you're taking care of the transfer of the human culture to the next generation, it doesn't automatically take care of the other meta task. But we have to separately see that what are the competencies that are important for the kind of future building and future literacy. And then we come to issues like curiosity, creativity, collaboration, cooperation, critical thinking, those kind of kind of transversal competencies that have now a greater role in the national core curriculum in Finland. We are faced with the kind of rapid change of digital revolution. And it's the question that can our education systems keep up with that kind of a change? If we make it, it means that there will be more prosperity to be shared for everybody in the society. But if we do not, we end up with social pain, which means unemployment and the difficulty for companies and organizations to, face, uh, to find the right uh, skilled uh, and educated personnel. We are seeing in Finland that the equal teaching with the master level educated qualified teachers, that has remained the, chains, the, the same and will remain the same in the future. What is changing is that the needs of individual children and learners are becoming more diversified. And the big issue is that as the tradition of mass education has meant that we educate everybody in the same way and in the same kind of time frame, that has to change. So we have to be able to create a more personalized path for each learner, taking into consideration those kind of personal needs and prerequisites. And that means that when there is this diversified uh, demand, it also means that there needs to be diversity of the supply of the education system. 
So we need to be finding ways in all levels of the education to create personalized paths. What does that mean in practice? You can see that change, for example, in the Finnish curriculum reform 2016, where we have the kind of changing role of students working together, learning together. There's more kind of exp exploratory and creative learning that kind of takes that uh, kind of special uh, needs and abilities of each child better into consideration. The other one is the changing role of teachers and teaching, where also the teachers learn more together and kind of there's a more kind of a shared professional development uh, among teachers. And then there is, of course, the world of change that we're seeing a kind of a ubiquitous learning environment um, that should be made possible for each child. And all of these changes and aspects uh, are kind of directed to create and strengthen the school as a learning community, making sure that the school has the resilience to solve the different challenges and changes that the so society and the community around us is faced with. And this is the Finnish model of our core curriculum. We still have in Finland the traditional subjects, but we also have the transversal competencies that are here described as seven different competencies. And what comes more important is the issue that uh, it's not only what you know, but it is the question that what you do, what you can do, what you are willing and motivating to do with what you know, that becomes more and more important. And the same thing can also be seen in the um, vocational education and training reform that we made in Finland a couple of years ago, where there is the kind of idea of creating a personal competence development plan for each learner. And that is done to everybody no matter where, whether you are a kind of a, a young person or an adult learner, the same thing is the idea. And the idea is also to give you those capabilities that you don't yet have. And that has the kind of also the possibility to utilize the kind of flexible study time and also to see that what are each learner's need for personal support throughout learning and how much kind of institutional based learning, classroom based learning or on the job learning is bestly suitable for the needs of each uh, learner. Overall, the big thing in the Finnish education system is actually to create it as a system. So we have to be creating a, a kind of a interrelationships between the learning community of the learner, the school or the educational institution, the teachers there, the educational provider and also the national level. There must be enough intimacy and trust among these different actors so that we can all together make sure that learning happens in a high quality environment and in a high quality ways. And 
that leads us to the idea that how we can combine equality with excellence. And what is needed then is to have a strong emphasis on educational leadership and professional development, making sure that the teachers are well educated, they have a kind of professional development plan ahead of them, and that the leadership in the schools make sure that those learning organizations are really resilient. Another one is that creating an education system is um, an act of kind of a long-term um, aim. So we must be very coherent with what we do that so that the funding, the strategies and the support for curricular implementation all are kind of going to the same direction and supporting each other. And then the support for learning, the personalized learning paths and the flexible learning solutions in the world of change become more and more important. And we must also understand that it's when we are concentrating on learning, we have to understand the interdependency between well-being and learning. So if there is no well-being of the learner, the learning won't happen. And so these two issues both must be taken care of. And finally, it's all about kind of strengthening a systemic and holistic approach. It's not only school subjects, but it's also competencies and skills. Creating a world of flourishment for each individual. And it's not only teaching the individuals, but it's the community capacity building. And it's not definitely the only school-based learning, but it's the lifelong and personalized, ubiquitous learning. And of course, we should not kind of divide a human being into different sectors, but the main task of education in Finland is to support each child and learner to grow into humanity and respectful uh, membership of the society. And that goes also for teachers, that we must support their work strengthening the schools as learning communities. And of course, as I started with, Finland is a quite a small nation and we know that we cannot kind of solve all the wicked challenges that we are globally faced with. But we have to do it together with other nations. And as we have been doing well in certain aspects of the education and learning, we are very happy to share those experiences with other nations and try together to create suitable solutions for the best of teaching and learning of the future. Thank you very much.